You are still watching Ways World Arthritis Day is observed on the 12th of October every year and it's a global health awareness event that helps create awareness about rheumatic and ha, okay, musculoskeletal disease. <laughs> this day aims to bring people around the world on a single platform so that their voices are heard and more support is provided for better treatment options for people affected with this rheumatic and musculoskeletal diseases so i don't know what it is that i have but i'm always having pain in my knee i don't know what because i know when i was growing up yeah. i had one aunt that you know my mom said oh she had arthritis so i was thinking okay because of, be but what they had told me was that she used to wear so much heels and all of that so maybe that's why Silently, I just programmed my head. I'm always on sneakers, slippers, sandals, you know. I rarely wear heels. And even when I wear heels, they're really short. So now when I started having knee pain recent times, I'm not wondering, ha, well, I'm not going to check it. <laughs> so I'm just assuming that. I, I've had back pain for the, for, the very, for the longest, you know. And um, initially, like outsiders would think, okay, because I'm quite heavy on the chest. But to be honest, it's not even my upper back, it's more of my lower back. Mm. And my dad had the same thing. He had some lumbar thing, you know. So I think subconsciously, as from a child, you know, I said, I said, ah, is this thing that daddy has? Is it this thing that daddy has, you know? So over time, I mean, painkillers have been my best friend. But I would say since I started exercising, Hmm. It has really, really reduced. Like to to see me not complaining of back pain. Wow, it's oh, it's okay. amazing. <laughs> I have to stop exercising because of my knee, right? But oh. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. But at some point, you know, I I still do my yoga. I still okay. do my psych. I, I exercise quietly at home. I don't just put it on social media anymore, so nobody's monitoring me. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> that monitoring is serious. right. <laughs> Okay, so we have a lot of stories in the news. What, uh, what did you find quickly? UK considers restriction as Nigerian immigrants accounts mm -hmm. for highest number of dependents. What's it, Dabe? The United Kingdom is considering tightening the rules on how many relatives, mi relatives migrants can bring into the country as Nigerian migrants, as Nigerian migrants accounts for the highest number of dependents. Daily Mail reports that UK Home Secretary Suela Breverman is considering tightening the rules on dependent after its figures showed a startling inconsistency across different nationalities coming to the UK to work and study. Mm. I mean, I, I, I mean, seeing this, I don't even know what to say because every day somebody is going to Jant. Every day somebody is leaving to the UK. It's almost like we that were here now, it's almost like, I wish our brain is working well <laughs> or not. You know, it's alarming. You know, so. it, it, I actually thought they had already implemented it too. Because from what I heard from a few people, they said they had already stopped it. So if they are still considering it, it means more people will quickly put in the MP. Oh, because yeah, what I heard was well, that, you, people know, are still gonna you know, what I heard was that they had actually stopped so if you're coming to study, because which was what a lot of people did, yeah, they go one person applies to go study, then takes the entire family, family. with them, right? The dependents. Mm -hmm. But now they're saying that yes, you can come and study, but you can't come into the country with your dependents. You come alone, study and go back, you know. Mm -hmm. But hey, UK, I think they should they should actually they they, they seem to me like they're a bit confused. Right today, you want immigrants to come in legally. Tomorrow, you don't want them anymore. So that's why I would tell Nigerians: can, Canada might be longer, might be the the this process might be it might take a lot of time, but I think Canada is still the best bet because Canada Canada is still looking for. UK is a bit saturated, right? So well, yeah, and it's not like it's, it's particularly just... cheap to stay in the UK. So, but it does to tell you how bad you know Nigerians just really want to just anywhere but Nigeria. I mean, it's six hours away, to be honest, so it's, it's not too it's, far yes. from home. Yeah. And you also have a lot of Nigerians there, so you don't really feel like you're away from home, you know, because let's be honest, as much as everybody is relocating and moving abroad, it's really lonely. 
it's lonely. It's uh, really, Canada, really lonely. Canada, there are many Nigerians there. <laughs> and it's just building it's just like your father. Yeah, it's just, it's and, really yeah, but compared to mm. the UK. And you can send your mom visa, even if it's to just come one week and just, go, go. you know, go back. <laughs> just cook some Nigerian food, you know, put it in the six hour flight and bring it to you. you know, right. You won't, you won't really feel that yeah. I'm away from home. So True, true, true. Yeah. But hey, so UK have told you people, though. So I have actually have, I have like um, two stories I really want to, first of all, I saw a very, very disturbing video, um, a military personnel that was caught, you know, stealing, um, what was it called? Um, bullets. Let me see if I can find the story quickly. He was caught. I don't know if they have that video. It's actually really disturbing. Um, he was caught with bullets, so he had wrapped the bullets within his um like the inner pants trouser he was wearing so this is the video so he had they had caught him um with the bullets with that inner trouser he was wearing he wrapped lots of bullets so the story is that he goes into um so he goes into the camp and picks up this and, and steals from the reserve, right? That's the story. I don't know if there's an audio. They can just quickly add the audio to it. Yeah, so that, those are the bullets coming out. No matter I do this one, you must enter. 99 days for the, for the thieves. You, you go and give up around this so that they will come and attack us in this camp. Don't worry. God pass you. That one shall you come to the path. See, all these ones don't take. Look at our No, no, no. This one now. They don't rule. Don't pass it. Don't pass it. See. <laughs> those are real and they, they're a lot so the allegation is that he goes into the military camp steals this bullet and goes to sell Obvious. to the terrorist to the Boko Haram yes. guys so you know when they say that and I, I mean this is just ties nicely to what we talked about yesterday we there is no that. way certain things continue without an insider being part of it so we see that we, have, we are not yet there when it comes to the war against insurgency. These are the reasons why. Part of this, right, where we have insiders going to go and either become informants to um, the um, threat, like the Boko Haram guys, or they are selling ammunition, giving them ammunition. And, you know, who knows what else this man has been selling? You know, it's just that today was just an unfortunate yeah, day that they that caught they him. Caught him. You know, so I mean, when I saw that video, I said, this is really disturbing. And again, I just wanted to also mention another story I found in the news. Um, this big brother, um, what's his name? The big brother, former big brother reality TV star. Um, his name is Rico, I believe. Right. Um, apparently, he was involved in a car crash and currently he's battling for his life. So according to the management, it says, hello, everyone. Rico is not disposed to his um, social media right now. He was involved in a ghastly accident and is currently on life support. Um, while his situation is critical and doctors are on him, we implore support and prayers. So apparently there is an account. If people want to support him, there is an account. Um, I think his mom's account. Yeah, uh, I think that's the post there. At that blog so there's an account that is supporting if you want to donate to him but what really was a bit worrisome for me i really wanted to hear what was the cause of this accident right because um for an accident to to get to the point of like you are on life support it means it must have been really bad and where did it happen was it on um which of the roads did it happen was it um, human error, like in terms of overspeeding, or was it as a result of our bad roads? I mean, so I, I like when we, we try to add a bit of context to, to stories genius. like this. You know why? It's not because we just want to know for knowing sake. Let's also help to identify, like if there's an accident cautious. abroad, they, they would say, okay, this and these are these were the causes of this accident, so that somebody else 
life can, can take, be protected. Yeah. Yes, and you can take a bit of caution, right? But our heart goes out to him and um, his family. So I think it's his mom's account that has been um, that's been uh, published online. So in case you you feel led to want to support, you know, because right now they say he's battling with his life. This guy is so young. He's so handsome. And I know that he acts, uh, he, he does a lot of uh, um, acting. Movies, yeah. He's on Tinsel. Like, I don't even understand what would, was he drunk? What, what, I'm, so I'm lost, you know, what would have caused this kind of accident to, to the point of life support? It's one thing that you have an accident and you just break your leg. But life support, that is really, 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 mm, really serious. Sad. Yeah. Our heart goes out to him. Um, I just hope that um, he comes out of this alive. All right, so we'll take a break now. When we come back from the break, we want to discuss mental health. And Alero, our very own, will be joining us um, via Zoom or something. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 